I was so incredibly fortunate. I think I've had many um, occasions when I've been just tremendously lucky. But again, I was somewhat headhunted because um, um, David Jack and Alan Hambries had a daughter who had migraine. He believed in finding drugs for common diseases that were poorly treated. And so um, he wanted somebody to come along and find an anti-migraine drug. And uh, what an opportunity. When I arrived, there was nobody there. I was given an empty lab and shown through the door, that's your lab. And there was a young lady, Ira Appley, a young uh, graduate, sitting on a rather forlornly on a, on, a, on a chair saying, what are we going to do? And quite a few people said that to me over the years, what are we going to do? And uh, I quite enjoy working out what we are going to do. Um, I said the first thing we're going to do is find out about migraine, understand the disease, and how are we going to do that then? Oh right, we'll go and talk to some doctors who treat it. And uh, so we did actually uh, contact a number of uh, clinicians who were treating migraine. I think the most notable for me in the first instance in this country was we went to the city migraine clinic that Marsha Wils Wilkinson was uh, running and there they were doing a, a great job for individual patients in uh, in London who probably working in the city have a terrible a migraine attack that comes on while they're working and they arranged for a taxi to bring them into the uh, into the clinic and they did their best for them, but um, it was pretty clear there weren't many particularly good drugs, uh, mainly bed rest and the dark room was the, uh, the sort of thing that uh, helped enormously, but um, obviously this could go on. They could be in bed for 24 hours even. Um, but the one thing that um, Marsha did actually convince me was that uh, ergotamine was used and it did work. She didn't like using it because it had lots of side effects, um, but it did work and that was one of the sort of seminal sort of clues we had uh, in starting the migraine project at where